Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick follow-up video to um, a video I did a few months ago about a mini pedal board that I was putting together. Um, and in that video, I kind of went through what was staying, what was going, um, what I was planning on putting on that mini pedal board. Um, and it kind of finally um, arrived at where I wanted it from that video. But since then, it's changed again. So I just made a quick video um, outlying what was on that board at the time. Um, so I've got the pedals here and I've got some sound demos as well, but I just wanted to go through the pedals that I had quickly. So I had first in the chain, the Azure compressor. Then going into the Ibanez Tube Screamer Mini. Then the Mosky Black Rats. Mua Ensemble King Chorus. Then last was the Mua Echo Verb. And then in between the chorus and the echo verb was the Hotone Tuner. So these pedals, um, some of them are staying on the new iteration and some of them are going. Uh, the thing I just decided was um, mini pedal boards don't have to be made of mini pedals. So I'm putting some, you can see here, I've got some... That I'm going through at the moment of what is going to go on there to make it a little bit more versatile um, and a little bit uh, better sounding, I guess. So the Azure compressor is a great compressor. This is staying. It's got um, really simple to use comp control. It's got an EQ control, which is super handy. Um, and it's just a great subtle compressor. Um, that sounds exactly how I want a compressor to sound. So that is staying. The Ibanez Tube Screw Mini, we all know what that does. Um, not sure if this is staying or not yet. Um, we will see. Um, but if it stays, it might be used as more of a high gain overdrive than it was before. Mosky Black Rat probably going if i'm honest it wasn't on very long it does sound cool um the vintage sound the, sorry the vintage switch is classic rat and the turbo is more of a high gain um mid pushed overdrive which was really cool um but uh, it just wasn't gelling with um the rig and what i needed it to do um which will probably be replaced with a more transparent low gain overdrive um it is very cool though um, the filter control kind of needs to be all the way up, no matter what. And the light, as you will see in the demo, is just the brightest thing ever. So, unfortunately, that's going. The Mua Ensemble King, that will be probably switched out for a Nux Monterey vibe, because that's, I like, I like Univibe better. It's also got a vibrato setting and tap tempo. This was great, though, for what it was. Um, but yeah, this is probably not going to be sticking around. Then it actually went into the Hotone Tuner, um, which I had positioned on the side of the board so I could move this knob with my foot to do volume swells and stuff, which is why the delay and reverb came after. And that worked really well. Whether it stays in that position so I can use this knob or whether I just use the knob on my guitar, not sure yet. But that's staying because it's a great tuner, boost, volume pedal, whatever you need. And then this will be staying, 100%. Uh, the Mua Echo Verb um, has delay, has reverb, has tap tempo via here or here. Um, that's absolutely staying. And I put one of these uh, O knobs on it so I could twist it with my feet, the level of reverb. So I can turn it on, get delay, tap the delay in, and then if I want reverb, I can just turn the level from none to up on the reverb. So that's cool, and that's staying. Um, other pedals that might be going on now, 
Artist wire machine. It's an envelope filter. Sounds amazing. I just got this. Really like it. Really don't think I'll use it that much, but it sounds awesome. Uh, this is actually a K-Line orange burst that I've repainted. Um, and this will be replacing the wrap probably because it is a great overdrive pedal. And then if I can fit it, Dunlop, uh, Jim Dunlop Mini Fuzz Face. This is the germanium one. Or there's this Fuzz Factory clone, which is made by Kink Pedals back a long time. But I think before they were going under the name Kink, that'll go on if I can fit a Fuzz pedal. Um, or maybe a Fuzz Octave pedal. I've also got a Visual Sound Angry Fuzz hanging around, which is very cool. Um, but yeah, they're the pedals that were on it and the pedals that might be going on it. So... Um, I'll send you to the video of the sound demo now so you can hear what it sounded like all together uh, using a blue strat, a uh, blue strat like custom copy thing that I've made um, going directly into a KLD Uranus 5 amp which is DI'd into PreSonus Studio One with an IR cab loaded. So enjoy the video.
Thank you.